Honorable Pastor Dr. Pengai Kuchi and your wife, Pastor Amy. You're all welcome this morning. And those of you watching us online also, you're also welcome this morning. Service. It's time to give this morning. It's time to give this morning. This morning to bless the Lord because we need it. We need it. We need it to build a house. We all know the scripture that we shall be given unto you good measure. We all know that scripture. Let's give this morning a partner to the Lord. If this is your first time visiting us, you are not ready to give. But we urge you to give this morning. There's a blessing giving and receiving. I believe in that. I believe in that. It's blessing giving and receiving. Through your bank, you can see on the screen also this morning. If you are ready, we stand up. You can get our offering ready this morning. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for giving this opportunity to give into your kingdom this morning. We are giving our seed, our souls this morning. Father, bless it this morning. Increase it. Make it abundant this morning. We are that Father, our giving this morning shall not be for giving for sake, but for giving to your kingdom. Now, Father, anything that we lack, Father, you will place it for us this morning. Let this offering, hundredfold, thousandfold, and increase our household this morning. Make it well with us in anything that we do as we give this morning. As we sow on the good ground this morning, make it well again for us this morning. We thank you this morning for giving us once again opportunity to give it to your kingdom this morning. Blessed this day in your name, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen.
sing this song to him like a prayer. I want you to sing this song to him like a prayer. I feel the presence of the Lord here. Sing it to him like a prayer. Do my mother hear 
Tap your neighbor, say you look so gorgeous. Oh, come on, you're not doing it well. Tap your neighbor, say you look so gorgeous. And you smell good. Would you sit next to me next Sunday? Mr. Man, you're not doing it too. Isn't it near your wife? Grab the whole hand and begin to read this romantic and uh, godly words. Okay, because of you, we'll do it again. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Talk to your neighbor. Thank you, Tana Lina. You look so gorgeous. <laughs> say thank you for sitting next to me. <laughs> and then say the Lord bless you. And the Lord bless you. If you believe shout hallelujah. <laughs> Could you put our guest on the, uh, the, the something on the screen so that I can? We, before we read the scripture, and before we invite our guest speaker to speak today, I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to the house of the Lord. Dank u voor het komen naar het huis des Heren. It is a joy to be in the house of the Lord. Het is vreugdevol te zijn in het huis des Heren. It is a battle. Het is een strijd. To be able to come to the house of the Lord. Om in staat te zijn te kunnen komen naar het huis des Heren. When you finally come in. En als u uiteindelijk binnenstapt. You have won. Dan hebt u gewonnen. Somebody say amen. Zeg amen. It is. It is easier to go to the supermarket. It is makkelijker naar de supermarkt te gaan. It is easier to go to the restaurant. It is makkelijker naar het restaurant te gaan. Than to come to the church. Dan naar de kerk te komen. When the issue of church comes, wanneer men het over de kerk gaat hebben, a lot of arguments will come. Dan hebt u heel veel discussies. A lot of fight and quarrels will come. Dan hebt u heel veel gevecht, strijd en ruzie. Doesn't matter how strong it is. The reason is Satan knows that is the house of the Lord. The reason is that Satan knows that it is the house of the Lord. A few years ago, a few years ago, Satan began to sell an idea. Began Satan an idea to promote. To say that everywhere is the house of the Lord. To say that everywhere is the house of the Lord. This is not true. That is not true. The disco is not the house of the Lord. The disco take is not the house of the Lord. When you come to the house of the Lord, when you are in the house of the Lord, there is one thing that makes it different. There is one thing that is different. We all have one goal. We have one goal. Whether you agree, or you don't agree, or you don't agree, or you don't agree, we have come to serve the Lord. Amen. We are here to serve the Lord. But any other place, that unity, that vision, that agreement of we are here to serve the Lord, it doesn't exist. Even in your home, shall we clap for the Lord? Because the Lord has a plan for you. And he's going to bless you anyway. And the enemy has nothing to say about it. He lost it when you came in. If you believe that, say amen. We have my very good friend. We have my very good friend. From my brother. Actually, my brother. From Italy, from Verona. Uit Italië. Ik heb hem soms 
sometime around 2007 and since that time we have kept contact. Ongeveer in 2007 heb ik hem ontmoet en vanaf dat moment hebben we contact. We met in England. We ontmoeten elkaar in Engeland. He will tell you when he comes back. Hij zal het zelf vertellen wanneer hij hier staat. When you hear going to Italy, I'm going to Italy, that's where I go. Als u mij hoort zeggen dat ik naar Italië ga, dat is het daar waar ik naartoe ga. Is a man of faith. Hij is een man van het geloof. He loves the word of God. En hij houdt van het woord van God. And he loves God. En hij houdt van God. And I believe today he's going to take you into the word of God. En ik geloof dat hij u vandaag mee zal nemen in het woord van God. That's in celebrity, right? That's oprecht. I'm not going to take much of your time, but I just want us to read our text. For those of you who were here last Sunday and uh, also in the prayer session, it will not be something new to you, but I want to take you a little bit inside of it. For hen die vorige week zondag hier waren en bij de bid stond, zal het niet nieuw zijn, maar ik wil dat we even de tijd nemen om te lezen. Proverbs chapter number, no, I changed my mind. Matthew chapter number 13. Laten we gaan naar Matthäus hoofdstuk 13. Matthäus 13. I'm going to read from verse 24. I'll read two verses and then I'll read 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5 and then we'll call the man of God while we are singing so that he can come and bless us. Another parable put him forth unto them, saying, Jesus Christ is talking. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. It's likened unto a man. I want this scripture to be ingrained in your mind. It's, it's likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. He made a conscious and well informed decision to choose good seeds to sow. Hij maakt een bewuste keuze gebaseerd op informatie om een goede zaad te kiezen en te zaaien. That means he chose to live by strong and proved principles of life. Dat wil zeggen dat hij gekozen heeft om te leven volgens um, keuzes die sterk zijn en bewezen zijn in het leven. He was not careless. Hij was niet roekeloos. He did the right thing. Hij deed het juiste. But let's read the next verse. But, but why men slept? Tap your neighbor, say, wake up. You are afraid of your neighbor, isn't it? Wake up! Zeg mooi wakker. You see, he's already awake. <laughs> why men slept? His enemy. He didn't say the enemy. His enemy. Onze vijand, maar hij zegt. Zijn enemy. Oh, I didn't say it. The Bible said it. Ik zeg het niet, maar de Bijbel zegt het. First, he said he didn't because some people say, yeah, it's not not me. No, he said his enemy, his enemy. Maar er staat zijn vijanden. Came and so tired among the wheat. I went his way. He just came in, in the night while you are sleeping, while you thought there is no issues anymore. He just dropped. He sleep. It planted some things in the heart of your people. Hey, and you the plant in the heart of the men. And the people weg. change their behavior to where so you don't know where it's coming and from. And the men change their behavior to where it's coming from. Lift up your hand and say, Father, Father whatever Father. has been planted. Whatever has been planted. Oh, come on. I want you to be very aggressive. Be aggressive here. Say, Father, Father, whatever has been planted, has been planted in my life, in my life by, my enemy, by my enemy to destroy my life, to destroy, destroy, my life destroy, my family, destroy my family, destroy my finances, destroy my relationships. In the name of Jesus, I uproot them now. I uproot them now. I uproot them now. I Oof. Oh yeah, I see, I see, I saw that. 
2 Timothy chapter 3. Let me show you some of the things the enemy plants so that you know what to remove. Let me show you. 2 Timothy chapter 3. We're going to read verse 1 from verse 1. I want you to pay attention, please. This know also that in the last days, 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 perilous times shall come. Difficult times shall what? Very difficult. If the Bible says difficult, it means difficult. As the Bible it over have it swag shall say down the book of swag. The Bible doesn't joke. The Bible not in grappen. Let me show you some of the seeds that will be sown. Go ahead, please quickly. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. <laughs> Covetous. I didn't tell you not to love yourself. Please love yourself. Yeah, but when we talk of the one of loving yourself, that means you are serving yourself. I mean, you, you, you become God of yourself. You are to act God. Covetous. Boasters. Proud. Blasphemous. Disobedient to parents. Here is physical parents and spiritual parents. Here is a physical elders and geestelijke elders. Undankful. Undankbar. Unholy. Unheilig. Go ahead, please. Let's go quickly so that the man of God can. Without natural affection. Zonder natuurlijke liefde. Breakers of promises. That is truth breakers. <coughs> False accusers. <coughs> Incontinence. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. If you are good, they won't like you. As you put that, so there's a need for you how Traitors, heavy, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Uh -huh. That's why you are writing your own Bible. No, it's in the Bible. That's why I'm reading from it's you. It's my own Bible. It's not. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such, what should you do? Please read the last part. For such, what should you do? Yeah. Please say that. For such, what should you do? Yeah. From such, turn away. These are the tasks that are being sown. This is an uncrowd, but the side one. These are the tasks. This is an uncrowd. He didn't tell you to hate them. No, he didn't it's tell you to keep. fight them. He said, just shift a little bit and be praying for them until they change. Truth breakers, they promise, they don't fulfill it. Despisers, they love pleasure more than God. Anything they tell you cannot even. Yes. You know that the person is not going to do it anyway. You know. It is a sign of the end of time. Lift up your hand and say, Father. Father. Your voice is low now. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I distance myself, I distance myself from these weeds, from these weeds, that they may not destroy my life, that they may not destroy my life, destroy my family, destroy my family, destroy my relationship, destroy my relationship, destroy my church, destroy my church. Oh Lord, oh Lord, save me, save me, save me, save me, save my children, save my children, save all I have worked for, save. I shall not labor. I shall not labor. I want you to shout this loud. I shall not labor. I shall not labor. I shall not labor. I shall not labor. And lose it. And lose it. And lose it. And lose it. To the enemy. To the enemy. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. <laughs> if it's for God, you will clap better. Please, could you stand on your feet while we receive the man of God and the choir just give us a worship song so that we can receive it?
Is it um, Ayas? Ayas of Amsterdam. Oh, sorry. All right. But it's okay. Just pardon my ignorance of the local uh, uh, operations here. But let me talk as a nation. Holland is recognized the sphere of football. With a team Ajax. Please forgive Pastor George. If I'm, if I'm uh, messing up your space. <laughs> but it's okay. Like when you talk about Italy and you're talking about AC Milan. Someone that is not from Milan will frown. But it, it's normal. But all, all the same, where I'm getting to is that when you're team, so let's now come to our own space. So let me leave you your space. Guide your spirit. Don't allow Pastor Ferdinand to <laughs> Ik breng u gewoon in uw eigen omgeving. En we gaan goed naar de stad. En no one is going to enter. Dat is waar we in leven hier in de stad. We are so conscious of our space. We zijn zo bewust van onze eigen omgeving. And then your team en dan uw team gets the winning goal. gaat om maar een winnend te doel. There is some sight of it, uh, some level of excitement on the inside of you. Dan hebt u zo een blijdschap in u. That you cannot keep within. Dat u niet van binnen, dat u het moet laten zien. Spontaneously. Spontaan. You shout. Ga u uitroepen. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. 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 Now, in your space. Dus in uw eigen ruimte. That you didn't really allow Pastor Ferdinand. <laughs> dat u toestaat dat Pastor Ferdinand. Talk less of me from how many kilometers away. But there's somebody there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you are here, As you hear that, for God, for God, He's in your space. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. So you don't need to go too far. Dus hoeft niet ver te gaan. For whatever you need. Voor datgene wat je nodig hebt. In your space, in uw omgeving, the champion is there. Yeah. 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 Good. 
to come is intended by the champion to position you to win. It's intended by the champion for you to have a proof that he has been with you when he was with the disciples. With the disciples, the Bible says that the Bible that after three and a half years, the learned people in the land, the learned people, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the Sadducees, the scribes, and the scribes, the bourgeois, and the bourgeois, they took knowledge of the fact of the fact that they. The disciples had been with Jesus. <laughs> Everyone that has despised you <laughs> after this service. <laughs> I'm not saying the next Sunday. <laughs> after this service, <laughs> they are going to take knowledge <laughs> of the fact that you have been with Jesus. <laughs> To leave this place without a champion on your side, without a champion in your space, it will be an error. And errors always bring calamity. We try as much as possible in life to avoid errors. Because we know. There is always problem with error. And when we are being taught in the school, as children are being taught there, the teacher will always insist that they do the right thing so that they don't walk in error. So don't leave this place without Jesus in your private space. Amen. That's your winning ticket. That is your winning ticket. You can never win without Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know, when your pastor comes to us, my wife has learned to wear the kind of heel that we allow her to stand. There's something about the altar. You may not want to do certain things. But when you get there, you begin to do it. That's why pastors have to spend time with the Holy Spirit. So that when you get to the place so that one area of the plek aankomt, where you have to represent something, it's you represent the right one. That you yeah. just represent. If you spend time with the right one, and as you try to bring the right one, that's the one you will represent. That is the one that you shall. We have seen. We have seen places called church. Plekken die kerk genoemd worden. That are not churches. Maar geen kerken zijn. Because the one that speaks over the people has spent time with the wrong person. So if you are here today, I consider you blessed. Because I know your pastor. He spends time with the right person. He spends time with Jesus. So when he comes, the attributes of Jesus Flows out of him. The attribute of Jesus flew your food out of him. Pastor Ferdinand is a wonderful brother. Amen. We started off as friends. We started off as friends. And then we began to discover. 
En zo gingen we ontdekken. In the process of time. Door het proces van tijd. That the reason for our entanglement. Dat de reden dat we zo met elkaar verbonden zijn. Is very strong. Heel sterk is. The blood that ties us together. Het bloed dat ons samen verbindt. Is stronger than the one. Is sterker dan. That ties me. Die mij verbindt. To my natural blood brother or sister. Die mij verbindt aan natuurlijke broeders en zusters. The blood of Jesus. Het bloed van Jezus. Is our common trace. That is iets wat wij gemeen hebben. And so we have a very, very strong agreement with the blood. Dus we hebben een heel sterk verbond, contact. That transforms us from being friends. Dat gemaakt heeft dat we van vrienden. To become brothers. Naar broeders zijn gegaan. Amen. I have a lot of pastor friends. Ik heb heel veel pastor vrienden. He has a lot of pastor friends. Hij heeft heel veel pastor vrienden. But there's a way we live with ourselves. Maar dat is een manier waarop we elkaar ontmoeten. There's a place I hold in my heart. Er is een plek dat ik in mijn hart reserveer. En hij weet. When I pick up my phone. Dat als ik mijn telefoon oppak. To speak with him. Om tot hem te spreken. He must put off every other thing. Dat hij al het andere aan de kant moet zetten. He is here pastoring you. He's here pastoring you. Oh, he's here. He got you for us pastor. But he also pastors. He, the very people that have been put under my watch in Verona. And but he got up for us pastor by men sitting in men's cell sitting in Verona. He can see things go wrong. He can see to see that things are going to go wrong. And that's why it became very important. And that's why it became very important. That he presents me to you today. That he may have you presented. That he has a brother in Verona. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, well, Pastor. For accepting me to be your friend. Have you ever been? But you didn't have any choice anyhow. But you had no choice. When I met you, when I met you, like Jonathan's heart meets with David. So as Jonathan is bound to one day, that heart meets with you. That heart is meant to. And that care said that's many years ago. And our relationship has grown stronger. And our relationship is only more stable. And the women God has put in our lives. And the women that God in our lives has put. To live our lives with us. To live with us together. Could it help to blend also in this line of relationship? Could it not other than us help in the line of this relationship? By hook or by crook. <laughs> by hook or by crook, <laughs> Pastor Emi has been brought into the show. <laughs> of the end of other money, and Pastor Emi was in the spell. She was bundled to the ruler. <laughs> and he is overbundled. <laughs> because I banished the husband. <laughs> for coming without her. <laughs> that that he had his meaning. And I told her bring him. And I said and he name her. Oh, he has to be there. He has to be in Verona. I want to say in Verona. And could he come? If Elmi will not come, as Pastor Elmi will come, so she has to bring him. The same was him bring because he is her first son. Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being there for us. Thank you that you did that for us. It would have been very lovely if I was able to come with my wife today. So it would have been very nice if I was with my wife today. But you don't worry. But don't worry. When things like this happen, then it means you have a reason to stay on the neck of your pastor. On the neck of your pastor. Bring him back with his wife. So probably it's purposeful. So maybe it's with a goal. Let me see. If the people would desire me to come back, praise the Lord. But I'm going, just going to try to cut short all the talk so that I can preach a little bit. Otherwise, if I don't preach well, it's not going to bring me back again. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Are you enjoying His presence? Yeah. Are you enjoying His presence? Yeah. You're doing a very wonderful job. Yeah. I know how to do it. You know, to get a message 
from one language to another. Om een boodschap over te kunnen brengen van de ene taal naar de andere. Because I, I, I have an obligation from the Lord. Want ik heb een plicht van de Heer. To do what I didn't like to do. Om te doen datgene wat ik niet wilde doen. I preach in Italian. Ik spreek in het Italiaans. Every Sunday afternoon. Elke zondagmiddag. It was a job I didn't want to do. En het was een taal die ik niet wilde uitvoeren. Because I felt that Pastor Ferdinand is preaching there in 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 Holland. <laughs> Ik ben Dutch. Pastor Ferdinand spreekt in Nederland in het Nederlands. Hij is getrouwd met een Nederlandse. Maar ik ben met dezelfde stamvrouw. Dus hoe ga ik dan spreken in een andere taal? Waarom zou ik in een andere taal gaan spreken? Maar de Heer zegt: Doe het. Doe het. Als je je leven kunt leven. Als je dagelijks leven kunt krijgen. And do your business. En je zaken kunt doen. Without language. Met die taal. Then you have something to say also. Dan heb je ook iets te zeggen. Concerning the, the kingdom. Als het gaat om het koninkrijk. And I took the bull by his, his horns. I took the bull by the horns. En ik pakte de de. And it's been so exciting. Toen de koe bij de horens en ik ben afstaan. Both legs began to come. De moed de lef kwam. Over the years. Door de jaren heen. Thank you for what you do for the kingdom. This is a very difficult department. This is a very lastige afdeling. If I have been so crucified in the church, as I said, it is because of this department. They say I'm the I'm the choir master. They say that I'm the choir master. I am not. But that I am not. They have a choir coordinator. But I'm not going to leave them. But I shall not do stand. To do what they like. That to do what they will. Because they like doing what they like. And that's the power of to do what they will. So I stay by them. So I stay by them. I am not playing the instrument. I don't play the instrument. But I just ensure that you play what you should play. But I just ensure that you play what you should play. Amen. They try to create a different ministry. So they try to create a different ministry in the church. So that they tell the pastor. And as soon as the pastor. What the pastor should do. What the pastor. But the pastor is in every department. Mm. Amen. Amen. Every department. But the pastor is in all the departments. The children's department. The Sunday school. The youth department. The youth. The men. The men. The women. The travel department. The music. And all the music. Music. And all the music. And every department. Let's do a church. As it should be done. Let's do it well. Let the man of God do his job. Let the man of God do his job. If it's in your department, receive him as a blessing. Ontvang hem als een zegen. He is a gift to the body. Hij is een gift. If it's in the 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 media. Als nou in media TV. You heard it's a media living the way it was. Laat het zoals het was. That's another issue. Dat is ook weer zo'n zaak. They like to push the volume high. Ze willen graag het geluid verhogen. And Pastor Ferdinand wants it low. And Pastor Ferdinand wil het zachter. He flows better in the anointing. Want dan gaat hij beter in de zalving. When it's low. Wanneer het zachter is. But Pastor Joe likes it high. But Pastor Joe likes it high. He flows better in the anointing. Want dan groeit die meer in de zalving. When it's high. So there is a conflict. How do we get this through? We just love the Lord and follow the leadership as the moment. Everything in this variety is pleasing to the Lord. Look at your faces. Even if you are identical twins, there is something different about you. Because you are unique. You are unique. Every one of us is unique. Jesus died individually for us. And gave us an inheritance. That's where I'm going. So every one of us here, we are brothers and sisters of the same father. And your brethren in Verona, 
brought their greetings. They belong to the same tribe. That your brethren here sent me to tell them that you love them. And that I was received with that love. It's like this part of the church is drawing my attention more than this side. So let me preach to this side. <laughs> Behind the pious preacher. <laughs> but this side is just identifying with me. Amen. If you still have your Bible there, you can open with me. Start it over. So, 1 John chapter 5. Verse 14. If you don't have a Bible, we will force you to see it as it's been projected. Thank God for technology. If you don't come to church with a Bible, thank God that we have it here also. That's what says it's not the Zoom, the Bible. So you have to see it. Because there's something about seeing the world. Well, there is each over the seeing the Your eyes absorbs the power in it. It's beyond just a right up. There, there, there is a spirit in it. There is a geest in it. That when you open it, in that what geschreven staat, whether it's a hard copy or in the electronic copy, or in the electronic if it is the word of God, there is a spirit in it that your eyes absorbs into your spirit. Into your spirit. It's so very important. When you hear it, your ear drums receives the impact of the spirit the influence, the kracht van the geest and it is planted in your own spirit and it is planted in your own spirit it is only when it is planted in your spirit it is alleen wanneer it in your own spirit geplant is that it can bring forth fruits that fruit can bring in your life in your life externally daar buiten toe don't trivialize the word neem niet het woord als een if you cannot see it Als je het niet kunt zien, you must hear it. dan moet je het horen. Do something to hear it. Do iets zodat je het kunt horen. Do something to see it. Do iets om het te kunnen zien. It is not just a written, packaged words. Het is niet zomaar geschreven woorden. It is the Lord Himself. Het is de Heer, Hij zelf. That you are absorbing to yourself. Die u tot u neemt. It is the Holy Spirit Himself it is the Heilige Geest self that you are taking into yourself. That you in yourself and when we come together like this, and as we, so come, we radiate the, the, the force of this Spirit in us to everyone. And that's why we must not forsake the assembly of the saints. I've spoken about it before. You don't understand. U begrijpt het niet. There's so much that the kingdom of praise. Er is zoveel waar de koninkrijk over over is. That is far beyond human understanding. Dat verder gaat dan wat de mens kan begrijpen. That you are seated in a place like this. Dat u op zo'n plek kunt zitten als deze. The spirit is working in you and on you. Dan werkt de geest in en op. By medium of his word. The working of his word. The anointing. The salving. It's like magnetic field. It's like a magnetic field. You may not see a magnet, magnetic field around a magnet. You see the kracht of a magnetic field. But when you put it on a piece of metal. But when you 
dicht bij een stuk ijzer zet, then you know there is a force around it. Dan weet je dat er een kracht eromheen is. As it will attract the metal. Want het zal de metaal zeg maar instrument Every one of you. Ieder van u. Have that radiation of anointing around you. Heeft die golf die omgeving om 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 te. Because of the spirit in you. Vanwege de geest die u in u hebt. The Holy Spirit. De Heilige Geest. So you are radiating your own. Dus u straalt uw eigen. I am radiating my own. En ik straal mijn eigen of trek mijn eigen. And when we are together like this. En als we samenkomen als deze. Just like you put pieces of magnets together. Dan is het net wanneer je stukjes magneet bij elkaar trekt. The little magnetic field. Het kleine magnetische. Around one. Rondom het ene. Is added to the other one. Wordt toegevoegd aan. Is added to the other one. Wordt toegevoegd aan. When you line them up together. Wanneer ze ze op een rij zetten. In a particular manner. Op een bepaalde manier. The power of the force is increased. Dan zal de kracht nog meer toenemen. And so he's able to do heavier job. And so is he in staat nog krachtiger werk te doen. Than an individual would have been able to accomplish. So we come together like this. So we come so together. You are radiating your own spirit. You attract your own spirit. I'm radiating my own spirit. You straight in your own spirit. The anointing is being lined up by the word. The something word, say, my right. To coordinate the force. Om een kracht bij elkaar te brengen. That nothing can come against. Waar niets tegenop kan. And when you leave this place. En wanneer u deze plek verlaat. You are no longer living. Dan leeft u niet langer. With your own little power that is in your own little flaws. In uw eigen kracht en uw eigen sfeer. You are living. Maar u leeft, u gaat weg. With the magnitude of all the fluxes, all the anointings put together. Met de magnitude een een grote. And that is called the corporate anointing. And that word called the corporate salving. And then you go out and break. And then you go beyond limits. 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 You come to meet with the champion. You come under the champion. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He lines up the flaws of everyone present, the anointing of everyone present. The salve for everyone is taken over. And puts it all together individually in everyone that came. And he sets them all together individually, lost by each other. We go out of that place as dynamite. And they go out as a to the kingdom of darkness. To the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in the word, dus in het woord, we are able to identify kunnen we identificeren that we have an inheritance. Dat wij een erfenis hebben. Don't ever allow Sta nooit toe. anything to stand between you and your inheritance. Dat iets tussen u en uw erfenis inkomt. Everything we have in the kingdom. Alles wat wij hebben in het koninkrijk. In life. In het leven. Generally. Over het algemeen. Is what is in our inheritance. Is komt voort uit onze erfenis. That's why you must be born again. En daarom moet u weder geboren zijn. When you are born again. Wanneer u weder geboren bent. You are adopted as a son. Dan bent u geadopteerd. You are adopted as a daughter. Geadopteerd als een dochter. And then you are given an inheritance. En dan hebt u een erfenis. Do you know what happens in the natural? Zo gebeurt dat ook in de natuur. If you have a natural birth, I mean, uh, um, uh, if you have your, if you have children naturally. Als u biologische kinderen hebt. You would love to give them inheritance. Then you would like to give them inheritance. If you adopt children, and as children are adopted, you would like to give them inheritance. Then you would also give them inheritance. The adopted one, the adopted, has the same right to the inheritance of an inheritance as the as the natural born. As the one who is born. Am I correct, brother? So we have been adopted, and we have access to the inheritance, and we have the access to the inheritance as the begotten. Jesus Christ is Christ and is willing and is and happy and blind to share with us everything he has inherited of the Father. Alles wat hij heeft van de Vader. For him to be able to do that. Dat hij dat dat mogelijk is voor hem. And for you to have access to the inheritance. En dat u toegang hebt tot de erfenis. He died. 
Stier op hij. To bridge the gap. Om de kloof te dichten. Between you and the father. Tussen u en de vader. He ensure. Hij heeft ervoor gezorgd. That he gives up everything that is his. Dat hij alles wat van hem was heeft opgeven. So that you can inherit. So that u kon erven. Because. Want. If he will not die. Als hij niet zal sterven. Then what is his will? What is then sign will? Can change. <laughs> if you write a will. Oh, als u een, een This belongs to this child. That belongs to that child. A will, a will. A will. A testament. If you write, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, if you write a will. Als je testament. Op, op yes, this belongs to this child. This is for this kid. That belongs to that child. That belongs to that kid too. And you are alive. And you live now. When that child misbehaves. As the kid is misraging. You change your will. Gaat u het nog veranderen? Am I correct? <laughs> but when you are dead. Maar als u dood bent. Even if the child misbehaves. Zelfs wanneer het kind misraging. It cannot be changed. Je kunt het niet veranderen. Nobody can change that thing. Niemand kan het nog veranderen. Am I correct? Yes. 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 So the will. Is a testament. That is variable. When a man is alive, it's no longer is, variable. Is not more when he's dead. For you to have your inheritance, that you your inheritance must have, and for you to be sure, and that you sure must be that it can never change. That it never can change. Jesus died. Jesus on the cross. Jesus. So the will, so the will is a testament. Is confirmed. That start bevestigd. For all eternity. For eeuwigheid. It can never be changed. It can never be changed. Let's read, read a little bit from the scriptures. Laten we lezen uit het woord. First John chapter five verse fourteen. And for the sake of time, I'm going to be reading directly from the Amplified Classic version of the Bible. And it says, "And this is the confidence, the assurance." The privilege of boldness which we have in him. We are sure that if we ask anything, listen, make any request according to the will of Pastor Ferdinand. No. According to the will of the Lord. Amen. According to the will of God. In agreement with his own plan, he listens to and hears us. And he sees we positively know that he listens to us in whatever we ask. In whatever we ask. We also know we settled an absolute knowledge that we have granted us as our present possessions the requests made of him. Amen. 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 The King James Version says, <coughs> oh, well, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what is the Bible telling us? What said the Bible? You can never have anything from God. You can never get anything from God. Unless it is in His will. Then say if in His will is. Mm. So we find ourselves in the church, the pastor. I I listen to prayers people pray. And we find ourselves in the church and I listen to as pastor to the prayers that people pray. And I marvel at the mercy of God. And that's why I'm still over the grace. That people still receive something. That people still receive something. Even though they are praying amiss. Even though they are praying amiss. And the setting of His word has said. What you so say to say in words. That said that you have we not asked anything. That better is not to ask. Even if we ask. And so if also so to ask. We ask amiss. 
En we vragen het niet goed. To consume it upon our loss. Dat wij het zullen verliezen. Als, als gemis moeten ervaren. Of zullen ervaren. There's so much ignorance in the body of Christ. Er is zoveel onwetendheid in het lichaam. And that's why people come to church. They mess up in church. Mm. En daarom komen mensen naar de kerk. They set up the against the pastor. Mm. They set up against the, the, en dat ze zich opzetten the tegen. Local ones, what the church stands for. Tegen datgene waar de kerk voor staat. They don't know. Want ze weten niet. So much ignorance. So veel onwetendheid. It's good to keep your space. It's good to eigen ruimte te bewaren. But keep it well. Maar doe dat op een goede manier. Don't come to this world. Kom niet naar deze wereld. To be a tool. Om een instrument te zijn. On the hand of Satan. In de handen van Satan. To do wickedness. Om slechtheid te doen. There is an inheritance for you. Er is een erfenis voor u. The will and the inheritance. The will and the erfenis. They are the same thing. It's the same thing. One coin. Eén munt. Of two faces. In twee kanten. The father. The father. The one that owns the property. Hij van wie de het bezit is. To him. For him. Is a will. Is the will. But the one that is receiving it. Maar degene die het moet ontvangen. When he receives the will. Als je het testament ontvangt. It's no longer a will. Dan is het niet langer een testament. It's an inheritance. It's an inheritance. Same thing. And so is it ook. The substance is the property. The substance. Substance is the bezit. God wants you to enjoy. God will that you can enjoy. On the earth. Op aarde. He is giving you everything. He gives you alles. Concentrate on God. Concentrate you on God. Find out your will. Amen. Find out what we must do. Testament. A testament. Yes. <laughs> and see what belongs to you. And see what from you is. If you ask anything, also each frag that is written in the will that is your own, what in the testament geschreven staat and it is van u. There is no lawyer that can change it. There is no geen advocaat die dat kan veranderen. There is no prosecutor that can change it. There is geen aanklager die dat kan veranderen. Let them gather in their millions in hell. Laat ze maar met miljoenen in de hel gaan. It cannot be changed. It can be veranderd worden. This is the confidence. Hallelujah. That we have. That if we ask anything, anything. According to His will, naar zijn wil. Search the Scripture for your will. On the shoot the word naar het Testament. What have you? Is it here? Is it today? Find where it is written in your will. Find where it is written in your will. Is it document? Is it document? Find where it is written in the will. Find now where it is written. Is it husband? Is it wife? Is it children? Is it kinderen? Is it money? Is it geld? If you can find it in the will, there is no devil from hell that can stop you from having it. Hallelujah. So when the Bible says, "Ask and it shall be given," that faith comes by hearing. I'm so sorry. I have not learned to preach through an interpreter. You're doing well. By hearing. That geloof komt door het horen. Hearing by the word. En door het horen door het woord van God. That word hearing. En het woord horen. From the original Greek word. Uit Grieks betekent. Is supposed to be best translated. Zo dat het beste taal is. Hearing and hearing and hearing. Dat zou moeten zijn. And hearing and hearing and hearing. Dat zou moeten zes keer horen moeten staan. Continuous hearing. Continue hearing. Because their mind is so porous. If a preacher preaches with a title, as a preacher, preacher speaks with a title, seventy percent of the attendees in the church, seventy percent of the people who are present in the church, after the church service, will not remember the title. Will not remember the title. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
How was service today? How was the service today? Oh, it was glorious. Oh, it was glorious. It was wonderful. It was geweldig. Ah, what did the pastor preach on? Where did the pastor preach on? Oh, the pastor was exceptional today. Oh, it was under serious anointing. Then they will remember how many people fell under the anointing. And so the rest of the people fell under the anointing. The pastor reached his place. He was already on the ground. What did he preach on? But where did he go from? So the Bible intends. So the Bible is bedoeld that we preachers. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Even if you don't want to hear it, we will say it. And we will say it. And we will say it. And until when you are in the kitchen and you are cooking, and the devil is reminding you of the failures of last month, is reminding you of the failures of last year, is reminding you. How your senior sister couldn't make it in a marriage. It's reminding you how your father died a poor man or a poor woman. It's reminding you that you are not going to succeed. And you that you need success. Because he told you before that that is your lineage in your family. That that the blood Then you will remember. That the Bible says that, the Bible says that you don't belong to that family anymore. That you yeah. 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 You've been adopted to the family of God. Yeah. And you have a will. Praise God. The Bible says, I'm not going to go there because I don't have time. Because the Bible. if you are a pastor, you understand how you run your local church. And when a guest is going beyond, you become uneasy on your chair. <laughs> Especially time. Because some of those that are shouting now, if they are given the opportunity, they can put him back there. The pastor. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Praise God. So the Bible says the Bible said that the testament that the testament is not valid. Not valid is not valid. Until the testator is dead. The one who the offering is dead. Then it becomes valid. Then it becomes valid. So your will has been validated. Is by the testator, mm. your own champion, your own representative, in the covenant agreement with God, where God swore by himself, because he could not swear with any other, that what he has said concerning you, those good things, he has planned for your life must surely come to pass. He swore by himself. And Jesus says, I will only represent him. I will only represent her. If you allow me to continue to be the one that go between. I am not going to be on your side anymore. I'm going to be on the side of my brother. I'm going to be on the side of my sister. And God said, okay, it's a deal. Today, I have begotten you. You have become a different species of sonship so that you can have other products. You went an under person from the one so you were before, so that your brothers and sisters could have it. It was only you. The end of that was for and I gave you everything. everything. And you have you others. If you now agree, and I also you tell a bit to have brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters to have the status must change. Then would you start to show? You must die. Then would you stand to give to share your properties with them? Of you and they will you be sit with him today? And he said, I will do it. And he said, I shall do it. But you must let me be. But you must do it. Their representative for life. That I for the life can protect. Swear to this. 
and swear <laughs> hero. I will go. Dan ga ik. That was the deal. That was the deal. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can read that up in Hebrews chapter 6. That was the deal. And also in chapter 5. And also in chapter 5. So this agreement was reached. Jesus assumed Jesus the place of the high priest. The place of the high priest. Not after the Aaron priesthood. Not after the priesthood of Aaron. But after the order of Melchizedek. Which means his priesthood will not have an end. For all eternity. Forever. You have a brother. Yeah. A senior brother. Yeah. That has sworn you will never forsake you. Yeah. He will never leave you. Yeah. No matter the challenge you face, yeah. he is there with you to give you victory. Yeah. Where are you afraid? Stop being afraid. Yeah. The captain of the Lord's army, <laughs> Jesus Christ himself, is your senior brother. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's your senior brother. He is your Everything he inherited, he died to say he's washed. It can never be changed anymore. This is the confidence Hallelujah. that we have in him. That, we have in that when we find that will and we say we receive it by faith, it becomes our present possession. What has also besit for it nu? It must come to pass. And it shall happen. What news is it to God? What for nu is God? To have the whole earth. On the whole earth. He is in heaven. He is in the heaven. Jesus is his son. Jesus is his son. He gave everything to the son. And he gave everything to the son. When he came here, when he came here, he never lacked anything. Had he no break? But you are lacking everything. But you have no break. And now you are his son. <laughs> you are his daughter. daughter. He is not going to be a happy God. He, he, wants, you he wants you to have them. He wants you to have them. Stop scheming. Settle with your man of God. This guy Gaan is of God. Met the man Amen. Van God. Want this man is a man of God. Amen. Amen. Trust him. Vertrouw hem. He is an under shepherd. He is a herder. To the good shepherd. The good shepherd speaks with him. And the good herder speaks with him. Concerning you. Please listen to him. Please listen to him. I have not come to speak good words. Om goede woorden uit te spreken. So that he will like me more. So that he may no longer no more. I have come. Maar ik ben gekomen. To allow you to understand that in the love of God, that in the love of God, He gave you a pastor. He gave you a pastor. After His own heart, the one that will care for you, as He will care for you, the one that we hear from Him, how He wants you to go, so that you can enter your inheritance. So that you earn this. He is the one who has given to you. Don't look elsewhere. Pastor George has not been given to you. I have been given to someone else. Far away in Italy. My family is in the UK. I would have escaped. But the shepherd will allow me. He has given me a job. To care for his sheep in a particular location. Do you understand what I'm saying? This man was not born here. This man is not here. Even though the wife was born here. Selfs toen zijn vrouw hier geboren was. He was born somewhere else. He told me where he was born. And I need to find out where he was born. And I know where he was born. And I know where he was born. And I know where he was born. If he's here, as it here is, and he becomes your pastor, and he will be pastor. God is too good for you. Amen. 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 I want to encourage you because I'm running up now. Dus ik wil u vermoedigen. Ik rond u af. I want to round up with this. Ik wil hiermee afronden. There is an order in the kingdom. Er is een orde in het koninkrijk. If you learn the order, als u leert wat de orde is, you will enjoy God. Dan zult u genieten van. Turbulent times may come. 
Er zullen wel turbulente tijden komen. Wees niet bang. You are a winner. U bent een winnaar. The fight is not fair. The strijd is nog niet gestreden. God is very partial. God is heel partijdig. What will stop him? Wat hem tegen zal houden? Not to be partial. Zal niet tegen partij zijn. He gave up his son. Hij ging, hij gaf zijn zoon. So he bears all his anger about you on the song. So Jesus died a very cruel death. Dus Jezus stierf een hele. I was stripped of everything. Hij werd van alles ontnomen. So that you can have everything. So that you alles kan hebben. And enjoy life. En genieten van het. From that time, he is a very partial God. Vanaf dat moment is hij partij. Before the fight begins, voordat het strijd gestreden is, he has declared you the winner. Heeft hij gezegd dat je aan de winnaar bent. Have you seen that? Two people going to the ring. Twee mensen gaan naar de ring. The one that is supposed to be mediating the good fight. Degene die het 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 gevecht in goede banen moest leiden. Has said that you are the winner. Heeft al gezegd dat jij de winnaar bent. Even before the fight began. Is it partial? Is it fair? 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 He can do anything for you. He can do anything for you. That's the extent of his love. It's so far gone, he said. Give up Jesus to die for you. As he Jesus can give up for you to die. So that you have the will. And so that you testament. Establish for all eternity. For ever. It can never be changed. That can it not be. Unless you rewind. Then say you to go. That Jesus. That Jesus. Will go into the tomb. The rock will turn to the grave. And then they will. Bring him out of the tomb. And as he out of the grave, dead, dead, hang him on the tree. That's in the middle, hang him on the tree. And then he will come down from the tree. And that he from the tree up will come. And then he will go back. And that he will go back. And be uh, entered into the womb of Mary. And that he will go back in the womb of Mary. And go back to heaven. And go back to heaven. Then your will will no longer be valid. Then so we test the man. Is that possible? It's not possible. So your will is always valid. Amen. Look for your will and enjoy your life. God bless you. All. En hij sprak tot mij en toen ik terugkwam heb ik u verteld wat hij gezegd heeft. Hij zei, u bent een geschenk. Tell the church. Zeg het aan de kerk. I told you when I came. You know, what the kind of person I am, I don't like to say things that will make people say, oh, he's a proud man. No, 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 no. De persoon die ik ben. I will, I will rather allow you to walk all over me okay. than for me to walk all over you. Ik sta liever toe dat u over mij heen loopt dan dat ik over u heen loop. It's a choice. It's a choice. When you are humble, you are humble. Wanneer u nederig bent, bent u nederig. And you always win. And dan wint u altijd. Always. Always. And I say, ah, I say, tell them you are a man of God. Zeg en tell them you are a gift. Amen. Zeg en u bent een man Gods en dat u een geschenk bent. When I came, I told you. En toen ik kwam, heb ik het u verteld. First, I told my wife. Eerst heb ik het mijn vrouw verteld. If you want to benefit from me. Als u voordeel wilt halen. As a man of God. 
as a man thought. You must see me. Then what did I see? As your man of God. Amen. As your man thought. Not only your husband, your man. Me alone, you echo no. As your man. master. As your father. I'm not just saying it, but you have to. Man, not only say. And then you must see me as a gift. And then what did I see? Now, say a sign. And I told you, yeah, and I heard him saying it. I said, ah, oh, this boy will say he told him. I didn't tell him anything. And he would not say, and the man should have said, oh, how you could tell. When he came into the into my office this morning, I just gave him opportunity to be himself. We prayed and we came here, and I never told him anything. I have no need to speak. Let, Let him speak. From Let him speak. And we only pray that he will speak as an oracle of God. I will that he speak as a speaking voice of God. Nothing will benefit you except your perception of it changes. Niets zal uw voordeel brengen terwijl u kan zijn u anders ernaar kijkt. Amen. The will of God belongs to us. Amen. Het testament van God behoort ons. Let me show you one thing. Then we will go to another. Ik laat u één. Psalm 24 verse 1. Psalm 24 vers 1. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the workers of the leaders, praise and worship. Thank you for putting this together. Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's. I was studying yesterday night, and this came to me. I will tell you. But it's connected to his message. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. The world, they that dwell therein. <laughs> the earth is the Lord's. And everything that is, please give me the amplified version. Everything that is in it belongs to God. The is All. The here, eh? I want to see the wisdom in it. Let's tie it up with what now I know why the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it. The world and they who dwell in it. Amen. If the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything, the gold, the minerals, everything, including the people, they belong to God. And Jesus died for us. And Jesus died for us. And we have a, a will. And we have a testament that has been delivered to us as born again. It simply means that the whole world belongs to us. And everything that there is in it. And all what there is in this. A few years ago, I said in this church that if you are a Christian, you are supposed to own a piece of the earth, no matter how small it is. It's supposed to belong to you because it's part of the will of God for you. It doesn't know. It doesn't matter where it is, but it's supposed to. When you look at it, you say, "Oh, this one belongs to me." One meter by one meter, but it's mine. One of the brothers picked it up here, went home, prayed, bought a piece of land, started building. Eén van de broeders luisterde naar het woord, ging naar huis, kocht een stuk land en begon erop te bouwen. Amen. Is your what? Is what your will? Because God wants it. It belongs to us. Don't walk around as if you are begging. No, it belongs. That's why we should set up businesses, do things, and you know I've been telling you to enjoy life. You're so much too serious. He told you now to do what? Enjoy your life. Fine. Try to laugh. Look for people who make you laugh. Those who have left the earth don't have that opportunity anymore. Walking up and down, squeezing your face. Nobody will say the winner is no. Bring joy to people. Bring joy to people. Because our Lord gives us joy. What is our will? It is our testament. Will there be no trouble? So there are no problems. The only place, any time I want to see those who don't have problem, I know where I go. Als die mensen wil zien zonder problemen, dan weet ik waar ik heen. I take a walk close to where my daughter is walking. Then when I get there, I look if I can see my daughter. Then I walk past a place, then I look, the place is silent. And then I go by where my doctor works, and I look at the other side. Those ones have no problem. Cemetery. That is still. That is the kind of talk. But if you are in life, but if you are in life, you must have an issue. You must have a problem. That's 
what makes us strong. And that is what was terrified. It doesn't kill us. And Marcus, we don't. What kills us is when we make it a daily thing now to be worshiping it and then feeling that, every, especially when you feel that everybody has no problem except you. Yeah, don't you see, Pastor is always happy. <laughs> <laughs> you come and pastor these people for one week. <laughs> Only one week, one week, everybody here. Including those who are not here today. <laughs> Even if they love you, Satan will steal them up. From today on, recognize your will. Amen. It is here. Amen. And hold on to it. It is here. Tell Satan you are a liar. God said this belongs to me. God's and this is mine. Amen. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. How many believe that he preached very well? Amen. <laughs> and that's why we look younger every day. And that's why we enjoy ourselves. I would like him to buy a gift for his wife when he's going. So let's let's bless him by taking up a little offering. So that when he gets back home, he can take her out for dinner. So that when she's She's watching us. She's watching us. So just if you have an envelope around there, please let the ushers leave an envelope. Just write a little thing so that we can. We just want to give him a gift. So that he can take his wife out for dinner. So that this crowd may out eight can name. Of course, you know that uh, some of you should not calculate. Just give whatever. 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 Give Too many zeros, otherwise, you won't go home. <laughs> small thing that <laughs> somebody shouts, and they go, Just keep on. Announcement for next week. Next week we have our hour of visitation. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. wonderful time. It's going to be a healing and deliverance service. Volgende week hebben we de hour of visitation. Het zal een bring people from anywhere you can bring them. The Lord will do wonders in their lives. And neem mensen mee, want de Heer zal wonderen doen in hun leven. See the Lord of God walk. Zullen het woord van God zien werken. Our Christmas extravaganza is still uh, being planned behind the scenes. Because the departments will talk to you about what to do. The updating and having a the role for what to work to do. Amen. 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 That's why we can you come and pray for you. If you're ready with your prayer, can you just lift it up just like I do? Thank you. 
het papa geven, hemelse vader, aan de man van God, hemelse vader, aan zijn familie. Hemelse vader, om uw koninkrijk op te bouwen, hemelse vader. In de naam van Jezus. Amen. Amen.
wash away everything that is not of you. Bring them into a place of rest, a place of peace, a place of joy. A place where they can enjoy their Christianity. A place where they can be proud that they are choosing you as their God. Lord, strengthen them to fight the good fight of faith. Let them not lose. But as a partial God that you are, when it comes to your children, give them victory. Amen. Thank you for what you are doing and what you have done already. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. One, two, three, go. Let's go. Please stop. I want you to say with enthusiasm. Come on. One, two, three, go. For I know Please touch yourself. Say, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. 